2025 is officially here, and you can probably tell by the tone of my voice. I'm quite excited. This is going to be probably the most accelerated year for humanity. Out of all of hominids that have walked across the Earth, I think 2025 is going to be the craziest year ever besides every year after it, like Sam Altman would say. But um, I don't think anybody fully understands, or I don't. I might, I definitely don't understand either, how crazy this year is going to be like humans think very linearly and we are approaching a steeper exponential than anybody can fathom um here's a little chart of the past five years um i don't think this uh model from 03 to 04 to 05 is going to be quite this steep it might s curve a little bit but it's still going to be relatively steep and i could be wrong maybe it stays this steep I don't know, but I don't think it'll be quite that steep. We'll see. But um, nonetheless, everything is going to be accelerating quite quickly. And I want to make a, just a fun video real quick talking about my 2025 predictions because I think, uh, again, it's going to be a wild ride. None of these predictions are like completely like, oh, yes, these are the things that you should be listening to. I am the oracle of the future. Come and listen to me. No, these are simply just things that I am saying, and I think they're somewhat interesting, and I think they could be probable. A lot of them are going to be wrong. Some of them might be right. Nonetheless, I think it's going to be a good video. So jumping into it, what I've done is I split the year into quarters, as reasonable people do. And what I'm going to do is just say, okay, Here's my predictions for this quarter, here's my predictions for this quarter, and here's my predictions for that quarter. So starting off with Q1 2025, I expect to see agents, I expect to see uh, either Anthropic or Google drop a reasoning model that is either as capable or superior to the O1 model in certain areas. Like, think about this, uh, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, the new version, is really good at coding. And it's not even like a reasoning based model like a one. What if you give it that chain of thought that the a one model has? And now with that base model already being as strong as it is with those extrapolated thoughts, it's far more powerful than it was as just 3.5 Sonnet new. Apply that to coding. You've got a powerful beast of a coder. Now with the agentic frameworks that come with that, as I mentioned, I think this next few, within a short period of time of this video launching, we're going to see some agents that are getting much better. Imagine Claude that is a reasoning model and like properly agentic. Now, software is automated. Like you don't need to hire a software engineer anymore. <laughs> you really don't. You just need a good vision, understand what you really want and articulate clearly. That's all you need. And that's all you need as a CEO to begin with. Whenever you do hire a software engineer and you are a CEO, that's exactly what you do. Now, you don't have to hire somebody expensive, okay? So I predict that will happen probably within months of this video launching, okay? Next is going to be much, much better memory for these models. I think uh, the memory is already really good. If you're using GPT-4.0, the memory is pretty fantastic. I think all of the models are going to have good memory. Currently, the O1 Pro model doesn't have good memory. It's going to be much better than even 4.0 has within months. Um, April through June, I think we're going to see the O3 mini version and O3 preview being launched for uh, people to use. And then eventually we'll have the O3 Pro mode, kind of like the O1 Pro mode is out right now. Um, and at this point, the O1 model, the base O1 model, will not have a rate limit. It'll be seemingly infinite. Um, currently, it's capped at 50 per week. It'll literally be uh, like like 100 per day at this point. Uh, next is going to be humanoids. Humanoids are already being sold. I think Brett Adcock posted a picture of the first batch of humanoid robots being shipped out that they've had sold. And I think they're going to be sold in very high volumes by Q2, if not Q3. Okay. Next will be seemingly infinite context windows where you can upload multiple books at a time into a model and it'll digest it for you pretty much. It won't actually be infinite, obviously. It'll just seem very, very large, more than you know what to do with, okay? And then next, we'll have video generation models being better at modeling the physical world, meaning their perception of reality is almost one-to-one, -one, 
right? So robotics, the AI models in general, will have a world model that is almost one-to-one, -one, and it'll give uh, just rise to the ability to conceptualize, understand, have an internal model of the world around them. Because if you look at the diffusion model, it's kind of like an internal model that you have whenever you hold an image in your mind. It does something not too d different than that. Okay. For Q3, we're going to see breakthroughs in the intersection of mathematics and philosophy. Now, this is one that people might argue with. They're going to say, uh, that sounds a bit crazy. Yeah, it does. This is where we might be able to make progress on the understandings of consciousness for the first time ever. Uh, we'll also see new releases of better reasoning models, like the O4 model. We won't actually get to use it immediately, but we'll see it being tested, and we'll see just how powerful it is, and it'll probably be looking pretty much like super intelligence at this point. It'll be smarter than probably any individual human, and it'll saturate pretty much all of the benchmarks we have. I think the O3 model kind of already did that. Next, it'll be saturating the frontier mathematics problems that only people like uh, uh, Terry Tao can do. And then from there, it'll be just like smarter than all humans eventually. <laughs> so O4, I'm predicting we'll probably get about like a 50% on the mathematics, the frontier, frontier mathematics benchmark where these problems literally take days for people to solve. 50% on that is quite good. <laughs> also in Q3, I expect to see agents becoming more so self-sustaining. We might even see level five organizations at this point. I have a feeling that before we have like extremely innovative AI, even though today's AI is already kind of innovative, O3 might already be the innovating AI. I don't really know. As we have innovators, if we have agentic frameworks that are good enough, we are going to see organizations coming at the same time as the innovators, as long as the, again, the agentic frameworks are good enough and OpenAI expands the, or any of the AI companies expand the range of these, of their capabilities wide enough, okay? Also at this point, I expect to see an open source model that is more powerful than O1, right? Q3, we're going to see an open source model, maybe from Meta, maybe from a China company that is more powerful than the current O1 model. Okay. I expect to see the crypto markets actually becoming something that people accept a bit more. I think AI will kind of make everybody realize, okay, the future is here. We need decentralization. Centralization of power is bad. Crypto markets, good. Crypto markets are a technology for decentralization. Crypto is going to become a mature asset in a not too distant future. Okay. Next is Google will simulate an entire living cell, a single cell, an entire living cell, simulated, digitized into a different substrate. And it literally operates just like a normal cell does, is a normal cell, just digitized instead of within base reality. Okay. And then October through December. AI is going to be showing signs of super intelligence. All scientific breakthroughs will uh, speed up drastically. Um, robotics will have accelerated far beyond what most people think they're going to be today. Like if you ask mo most people today, what will robotics be like this time next year? They'll be like, yeah, I bet they make a little bit of progress. I'm saying they're going to make a lot of progress and we're not ready for it. <laughs> they're going to make a lot of progress uh, pretty quickly. Okay. And then we're going to see Google digitizing the first multicellular organism. And it will become obvious that we are at the beginning of the singularity by this time next year. This time next year, it'll be obvious that we are at the beginning of the singularity. Okay. And that pretty much wraps up this entire video. That's all of my predictions summed up quite well. Um, if you're somebody who is interested in understanding more about the changes that are coming, or you, if you want to position yourself the best way possible for the future, I recommend checking out my community below. What we do in there is we ask ourselves the fundamental question. When every single person at an individual level 
owns a computer that can do all economically viable tasks that any human can do, what is there left for humans to buy? If you can answer that question, you have a million dollar, possibly a billion dollar company on your hands. In the community, we spend all of our time solving these problems, answering these questions on an individual level so that the individuals in the community can build those businesses to leverage that answer and build their own wealth in the future. If that's something you're interested in, click the link in the description below and I will see you in the next video.